Hey, it's Nell, and I just repotted this Swiss cheese vine, and now it's time to train it. So why don't you stick around and see how I'm going to do that. So I post videos on a regular basis here at YouTube. I have a lot in the uh, archives, too, for you to go through and check out. So if you like videos about gardening, both indoors and out, be sure to hit subscribe because I post on a regular basis and I would love to have you come back. So this video is gonna be short and sweet. Here um, is the device I made. And right now I'm gonna show you the materials used and how I made it. And here are the moss covered poles from Super Moss. And I just want to show you this because there are five of them that are, are two feet and this one came this way. It's a good six to eight inches short. What's up with that super moss? So here I am making it. It's going to be very rustic. I just measured how wide it could be at the bottom and I'm just putting on the rungs. I'm going to hot glue them. I have my hot glue pan heating up and then I'm going to tie some twine over them um, just to secure and I'll probably add probably two to three more rungs. So here it is. It's a very rustic trellis, but that's fine. You know, it's moss covered, gives that tropical look. And this is what I'm just going to do to help reinforce it, just twine it. And I may put a stake in the middle going vertically. I'll see how it holds up once it gets in the pot. So I couldn't find any trellis that I liked that was smaller. So I decided to make one. Now this plant will get bigger so I can have the option of um, adding three foot stakes back here just to take it up um, a foot or so. I don't know if they make the moss covered stakes in four foot or whatever, but that I will, I will worry about when I need to repot this plant. <laughs> this I just want to get it trained now. And that's why in the repotting video, I didn't put all the soil in the back here because this is not like a, a you know, the metal trellis where it's really sturdy. I mean, you know, it's, it's going down just fine because it's basically bamboo stakes covered in moss. So this is what I'm going to use to train it up. And I did it in a little bit of a fan, mainly because the stakes kind of had a natural curve to it. So I wanted to do that. So this is going to be what I'm going to do. I'm going to train the vines through and um, then tie them probably in a couple of places. So what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to get them these, uh, I think there's like two, only two longer ones I'm going to train up and then I will come back and I will tie them up and I'll show you that. Okay. Okay, and now it's time to get them tied on. Just, just a couple ties. I love this jute string. It is just so good for all things gardening. And as I said before, it has lasted forever. I've used it for so many things. I'm gonna try to get one up here if I can right through here I don't want to put it on this is a new growth new, new growth here I want to put it right here and I was gonna put a third stake here but I really don't think I need to so I'm just gonna do that okay so I adjusted a couple shorter stems back here and I floral pinned this one here to hopefully it'll grow in here to get some growth in here but otherwise it is all done this will 
grow up and I can extend it up as it grows or I might just you know pinch a few of them to to uh, keep them under control but but you know I think I'm gonna look gonna let them go and grow up so it's, it's gonna be half it has gonna be half climbing and half trailing and that is the look that I wanted and also with these roots it, they have these roots that tend to grab onto things that's how they attach to things in nature so with the moss covered uh, stakes there'll probably be some grabbing going on too so uh, now as the final the final um, phase of this which is actually actually would be more the final phase of the repotting one I'm going to put on a layer of worm compost to make this plant extra extra happy I'm popping in in real time again I batch film in the late spring because I, I live in Tucson where it's very hot in the summer it's currently 107 degrees so it's hard to film too too many things outside um, if only I could film them at 3 in the morning it would be fine <laughs> anyway I am gonna be taking some time off uh, toward the end of July into August not really going anywhere I usually travel a lot but not these days we, we know what's going on with the, the virus so stay and put but I am gonna be up dating some old blog posts and doing that kind of thing rather than putting out a lot of new material but I'll be back in September but you know the couple the couple videos that are coming out in August are also batch films so I'll jump in and say hi so the plant has grown beautifully in about a month and a half or two and it's already up over the two foot stake so I'm gonna have to get some three foot stakes on there soon as you can see and this one is down here and it's interesting how the leaves are still attached to the stems of the other new leaves opening up that's pretty cool but it's doing very well these are gonna hang down here as I had planned but there's another one I can start to train up there so it'll probably stay in this pot for a year or two and then I'll have to rig up a, a bigger trellis system for it but so far so good it's doing well and growing growing beautifully that noise that you hear in the background is not the microphone or anything going on it is the cicadas they come before the monsoon so hopefully we're getting monsoon soon because we are drier than dry anyway uh, what I did after I planted this or after I repotted it and after I got the trellis in I topped it with some warm compost and then I watered it well and then I brought it into its nice bright location in the living room and I have been watering it about every seven to eight days as I told you it's very hot here in Tucson I don't keep my house that cool I keep it about about 80 so my plants tend to dry out a bit faster in the summertime so uh, that's what's going on with it so the next step will be to get those three foot stakes oh and speaking of stakes I will leave a link to them down below and also in the blog post of the moss stakes they are from super moss I also have them in my Amazon shop and one last thing that I wanted to tell you is that I will be doing a care video on this plant the Swiss cheese vine this monstera coming up in the fall I hope this inspired you to train a Swiss cheese vine if that is what you want to do maybe in a manner like this you could make a bigger trellis as it grows I will make a bigger trellis but you know what there's more info in the blog post and uh, what else it's it's starting to get hot here in Tucson so I'm like la -dee da oh yes I upload videos on a regular basis here at YouTube I'd love to have you come back and see more I have a lot in the works coming up too I have a lot already filmed so you'll be seeing a lot more repotting 
videos. Now let's get out in the garden or into our indoor gardens and make our worlds a more beautiful place. As always, I thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the, in the next video. Bye.